find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, welcome to the Awesome Cast, the show where we get geeky talk tech to today a lot about Apple and uh, social media, all kinds of a lot of stuff. The lo- local nerds, the geeks, that's us. We're all wearing glasses here. All wearing glasses here. Spectacles. All- Spectacles. I can't see we, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's purely functional. This is not <laughs> this is not a lifestyle. It's just no. a function. No. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is your Awesome Cast, the five year running Awesome Cast, mm. by the way been doing this so for the fifth time we're going to talk about wwdc the apple announcement and so much more uh with us all in studio yeah everybody's in the studio of course back the studio a is john chichilla at oh, chilla on the twitter you, you need to get like an awesome vision thing where it's like zooms in and zooms out and it's all psychedelic i do that sounds yes. terrible no, i don't know i'm, I'm, sure a, I'm gonna a, i'm gonna pass on that bit. hold on i got yeah. i'm sure i got a, a effect a in here somewhere hold on a second let's uh <laughs> Let's do uh, the old board had the thing that like did the really cheesy yeah, yeah. pan outs. Yeah, we we had that. Oh, yeah! wait, do that. There you go. There you go. There you Watch go. the video. Hold on. Well, let's do another one. What does this do? Oh, there you go. That's all I can do. That's can all effects I have. Can you go from me to him like that? Uh, oh, no, 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 please don't. <laughs> there you go. Hey! hey! AJ Kuftik and AJ Kuftik on the Twitters. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. That is that is me. Virtual Potholes is the blog. You still doing that? Virtualpotholes.com. I actually figured out how to do it so that it doesn't have to like forward weirdly. <gasps> yeah. You do subdomain napping and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I did all that fun stuff. I figured that Does out. Does that mean Shot you called Tumblr. Go- Oh, Tumblr, awesome. Shout to Tumblr. Yeah, and by the way, I moved my blog from WordPress to Tumblr. So if you listen to an old episode and it's word, virtualpotholes.wordpress.com, just don't worry about that. You got, you got to go forward or you got to be like, hey, guys, I'm over here. You know, it costs $12 a year for a forward. I'm no, 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 no. Just put a post that says, hey, guys, I'm over here. At least, I'm, just, at listen, least you could do. I'm, I'm, I'm busy doing this show <laughs> right now. <laughs> That's what I'm busy doing. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, as senior Apple correspondent. Uh, this is my third. This is th- I'm three of five, which means I'm over 500 for doing the awesome cast WWDC. Um, oh, I thought you the said show. the third episode. I didn't realize no. it was the third. Okay. No, this is my third time being here for WWDC. And uh, yeah, and I've been here for a couple of the other Apple events, the iPad ones and the iPhone ones. But of course. Yeah. Of course, yeah, this is the I'm I'm the senior Apple. Usually, if it, if there's an event popping up, it's like, eh, oh, I left that thing up. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> if there's an event popping up, and there's sword hey, popping up, there's me. All right, there we go. Um, but no, yeah, we usually the, there's an Apple event, and I I'll get a message like the week before it says, so mm-hmm. am I in studio? I'm like, yeah, you are. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just say I'm coming. That's how this works. That's how this correspondence stuff works. Um, so yeah, it's uh, uh, this is this is the fifth year. This is gonna be fun. It is, it is. This is the Awesome Cast. You can join us and join in the conversation. We're here every Tuesday, live.awesomecast.net. About 60, 6.30 p.m. Eastern is when we're getting started, going back to the normal time. And uh, you can join us like Wheels is in the chat room, for instance. Hi, Wheels. Hi, Wheels. And uh, he's our Android uh, correspondent out there to give his opinion on the stuff we're going to talk about today. Which so, is ironic because I'm I'm currently using a Nexus 7. Mm-hmm. See, guys? It's hey, not that, all that Apple. That is a nice tablet. That is a nice it's tablet. A, it's a nice tablet that you can get for not much money. Oh, yeah. because Oh, by the way, old. if you want one, you should probably go find one because they're gone. Yeah, they're, they yeah, killed yeah. the Nexus 7. Yeah. Like, yeah. officially. They had they threw, like, a quick run out in the store. That's the only Android news we're going to have. Oh, no, there's one more piece of Android There might news. be something else. So, yeah, there is something that connects there. Yeah. Um, as, but anyways, you can join us there uh, at Awesome Cancel on the Twitter, Awesome Cancel on the Google Plus, Facebook, and you can uh, 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 follow us on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. I don't know what's happening with Stitcher, guys. I didn't even have Stitcher on Monday. Did you oh. have that problem? Uh, I uh, I use Overcast on my phone, and I haven't gotten a speed update on anything since February. Like anything, period? Yeah. Like, like our stuff or anything, period? And like your stuff. What? Yeah, I told you about this. You did. You did. And I, I did. can't. I can't find the video on iTunes. Oh, we don't have the video on iTunes uh, anymore. Yeah, that we, was Blip TV. That, that was, died. I remember that. Yeah, Blip TV <laughs> went down here? and I'm took here. that with Pay it. Attention. But I was looking for something to show actually someone at work. Go to YouTube. Stuff from the podcast. Go to YouTube. YouTube.com slash Sorgatron Media. That, which means then I have to try to use my LTE connection and I'm 39 floors up and I have one oh, bar. Oh, man. And, uh, all these technology problems. Oh, no. First, the most first world problem. 
This is why we should. I can't download the thing on the device in the way that I want to. But no, that was the thing. I'm like, well, with the YouTube, internet. why the heck am I doing a uh, 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 video versions on, on iTunes? I didn't see the numbers out of iTunes. I saw more numbers out of YouTube that we were forwarding to. So uh, that, that that's kind of what made that decision. But if you're like, hey, man, I really missed the video feed, uh, let us know on the tweets and stuff. And, and, and if, I, if I need I'll it, I'll it. just use one of the YouTube rappers. And I understand... <laughs> it, I, I, this is not the first time, yours is not the only time that I've heard in the last few months there's been problems with the feed. Not like that somebody's not getting the show, other than Stitcher, but Stitcher has been, I'm not getting regular shows that have a lot more better servers than I do, but uh, we were trying to get a lot of stuff on TuneIn, and they were having problems with our current provider. So, um, welcome to back to, welcome to back to work <laughs> with Zorg. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about RSS feeds today. There you go. There well, you go. Know, RSS feeds are going to be a big deal for news. Yeah, it is, it is. There's which we'll get to. We'll get to. So let's get into it. Uh, for going the awesome things of the week, because it's just really WWDC. It's probably going to be the majority of the show today. Yeah. Do we want to go just down the keynote line? Like, do we want to start with OSX El Capitan? Yes. So we so can. I, so I can get that out of my system. Yes. Let's. So so, uh, so uh, R.I.P. Yosemite. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the world, El Capitan. El Capitan. I don't know if there's is it. Are we going Spanish? Or we, I realize I just went to like super French well, there. The the weird thing is. Isn't El Capitan? Isn't that the same mountain or yeah. whatever that's in Yosemite? Yeah, that's that's why they <laughs> called it that. So the problem is, is that when you uh, don't have a modifier cat name, so you had <laughs> Leopard, and then there was the one that the the one that came after it, which was Ten Six. That was Snow Leopard, which was a improvement release, and then they had Lion, and then they had Mountain Lion. and then they they came out with uh, Mavericks, which was like the weird Ten Nine bit. And then Yosemite, which was their big 10-10 release, this was going to be an improvement year, and they couldn't just say, like, Snow Yosemite. <laughs> That's not how that works. Snow cap. I, tr- I tried to time that to make sure because Sorg was taking mountain, a drink. And I mountain, it was mountain, mountain Yosemite. Right? Mountain Yosemite. Yeah, there's, no, you know. like, there's no way to do it. So that's what it is. They went Mountain Yosemite, mm-hmm. which was El Capitan, which is the uh, very large uh, mountain inside of the yosemite national and park and that's what we kind of expect this is going to be kind of a a fix-up year we we they broke a lot of things with all their new <clears throat> updates I, I don't think they bro- i don't think they broke things except for that whole discovery d issue which did, uh, was that your phone who, nope who who, who, who that, was you. that was you i don't know where it was nothing is popping up at me in front of me <laughs> i right. got two ii devices do we do i have another one like lying around i don't know about <laughs> that sounded like google though oh that was a google that could have been anything it could have been absolutely anything. Anyways, kids, <laughs> getting back to the cool company. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I love you, Google. Um, they they came out with El Capitan. A lot of improvements, a lot of performance improvements. All of the things are based around security improvements, performance improvements, and then basically making Spotlight not so geeky and being able to throw things in there like can, can stuff I, I worked on last can, week. Can I be honest? I just have not used Spotlight. I use Spotlight like a. Like I use Spotlight I mean, all the time. What what am I what am I missing here? Because I don't I, I I I just never. It's not some place I think to go to. I mean, is this the same as going to the search box in the corner of Finder? Yeah. Is oh, if you're going to the, if you're yeah, clicking you're, the magnifying glass, you are ridiculously yeah, get off slow. That. Get, get off that. that. <laughs> get yeah. off that. Yeah. <laughs> Apple plus space bar. Yeah. Apple. Yeah. Apple. Hold Apple, on, sp- hold Apple space Apple, bar. Apple. Sp- Apple. Plus Apple space bar. bar, Apple space bar. Yeah, that's it. And, that pops and then in. a little yeah, thing um, pops up in the no, middle. No, I've been getting this. Okay, I've been. Did you I, ever use Quicksilver back in the day? Who used Quicksilver? I mean, I know about it, but you know. Oh, so, right, so, so I get this thing pops here's, up here. Here's, here's and I start searching. Now, what should, what should I search for? No, no, What's no, probably, no, no, what? no, no, no. What? It, the, It's not. It's not the search functionality of Spotlight that makes it magical. What is it? I use it like a tiny calculator at all times. Apple space bar eighteen times six, and it'll give you the answer. Or how many teaspoons are in four cups? Whoa! Right. Yeah, so it'll just give you like the quick answer like that. So if I just need to like, oh, hey, what would six tickets to Kenny would be? They're thirty eight bucks a piece. Thirty eight times six, done. But but so this is this is basically like this is what I use Siri, Siri for. Is yeah. hey Siri, what's thirteen times twelve? Yeah, that. Yes. But like, and I use it instead of Launchpad. Like, yeah, I oh, never I use go it. into Launchpad. I, c- I cleared out my entire uh, dock, and I just use Spotlight for things. So I just use it as my launcher, like Apple Space iTunes. And it opens up. Or Apple Space Google Music. Final Cut Pro. Up. Holy crap. <laughs> it's all in there. So it indexes every app on your machine, indexes all the files on your machine, has links That's to Wikipedia, Wolfram Apple. When I've reloaded my Alpha. computer, 
Less. When the CPU is just maxed out for that first like day, that's it indexing everything on the machine. That's MDS. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's on, what it is. on a Windows workstation, do you actually go start programs, accessories, no. calculator? No, you uh -uh. go start and type in calculate. Start typing in calc. Or if, you, or if you're uh, Windows R, C A L C, okay. uh, terminal services, MST, MSTSC, uh, WinWord. Uh, Excel, Notepad, Notepad. Uh, yeah. You such, just start flipping. Like I'm this such is, a failure as a power user. <laughs> like I, <laughs> that's what this I, is. I I try to keep my hand off the mouse. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that that's the spotlight gets a lot of cool things. Like you can ask now, how many cups are in three? Or how many cups are in three liters or something like that? And do all of those sorts of things. You can add things like, hey, uh, one p.m. haircut. And it'll create a calendar event. Like those are the sorts of things they're into Google Terra. They're into Google Now territory with this. Okay. Now, now, now with with El Capitan, you El can Capitan. say things like, "Show me all the photos I took at work last week." Yep. Which, if you work at a highly regulated organization, <laughs> you shouldn't have any. That should come back blank. But um, I do a lot of screen captures for yeah. different, different things that I'm working on. Yeah. So that's where. Show me all the pictures I took June 12th, 2011. Yeah. Now, yeah. this I'm enjoying with Google Photos. Right. Like I had a thing where yes. I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to. I usually have to scroll all the way through to find something of. Uh, uh, there was a conference we did back on May 22nd. So I'm like, wait a minute. And May 22nd popped up everything from that day mm -hmm. and i just downloaded that stuck it in because i couldn't find it on my photos on my phone because it's doing that weird thing where they kind of go away into the cloud and on my onto my computer here and i don't have them on my phone anymore even though i did not take them off which yeah. i'm kind of glad and but it's happening in a mysterious way and it's getting weird um are you talking about I, the the ios photos ios photos yeah there's, but the, but there the, is a there is an option in settings called optimize storage and, and I'm in that, that because it would always build that up, and then I would fill my phone yeah. with See, all not, the pictures. Yeah, I don't, I don't use that. What I do is, is I allow the stream to sync back to my computer, and then right. delete anything that I don't think. So, but the, that I'm gonna need. this is the, the this is the problem is then. Welcome to Photos Manager. Like, yeah, the yeah. yeah, exactly. Because then I don't know what to delete, and and I go in, it's like, oh, everything is here. It's like, okay, then it doesn't give me a readily ready version. Uh, a place to delete or I have a couple of videos that aren't syncing for some reason and I just get in, stuck in this loop. So, yeah. So Spotlight gets a lot of neat features coming through it. Um, one of the other big things, Mail gets a bunch of gestures like iOS has. Mm -hmm. um, See, and I think they're going somewhere with that because not only are they doing that, but they're also getting the same exact split screen that iOS is getting for full screen apps. No, I, I don't think that it's that it's so much as you use an iPad a whole bunch at work and you use an iPad a whole bunch and now you're going to use your Mac. Mm -hmm. It's all the same. It's but all they, parody. So, so they did a bunch of stuff with handwriting and gesturing on the touchpad. Yeah, That's but that was for that was for Asian markets. Right. But it's still it, they don't have regular characters on a keyboard. But I think it's still I think they're still going down. I think we're a year away from a touchscreen. I think we're going to see if they go touchscreen, Mac... they're going to go iPad Pro. If they go iPad Pro, I, I listen. I've said I've asked for this for years, and I'm never going to get it because Apple will never give this to me. But if Tim Cook, if you're watching Awesome Cast 252 right now, <laughs> which you should be, hi Tim. Uh, I would I would love nothing more than to have a device that I could flip between iOS and OS 10. Well, and why wouldn't you do that with the MacBook? With the new MacBook being so light, because I because iOS doesn't it. run on x86. So make that the screen. We know with we know with display with, with what's the Duet Display? Is that yeah. the name of the app? We know with Duet Display through Thunderbolt, we can get the the a, a decent display over from Mac OS. Right. Right. So the bottom half of the clamshell is OS X displaying on the iPad. You take that off. Now you have the iPad. Do you know how many Windows manufacturers tried this crap when they came out with Windows 8? I got a lot of them. But but the problem is, is Windows 8 didn't fit the bill. Right, and neither does <clears throat> this. Because then what happens when you're working on something and you want to take the tablet bit off? Then it switches to iOS yes. and your stuff is gone. Or you have to have handoff and have the app on both devices. Now you have two different processors. An iPad plus a clamshell I is going to weigh like three and a half pounds. 
Like that's the problem. No, They're I totally this, disagree because like, a, Mac, a MacBook. MacBook weighs two pounds. No, it doesn't. Yeah, the the new MacBook weighs like two pounds. I thought it was one point. I think it was like a point, pound and a half. No, 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 it's two something. But if you have the new MacBook, right? Even with the new MacBook, and you took, by the way, that screen on all of those devices is way too thin to be an iPad. So you now have to, you now have to get past the fact that Apple wants to make everything as thin as absolutely possible. Like they made the MacBook Air thinner. Like they, to the point where they're almost like critically harming some of their devices. Like the MacBook CPU is not great. And see, I I know a couple of developers that have bought them and love it. Yeah, but th- are they doing actual development work? On yeah, they're All doing right. they're doing Xcode. So I mean, that's where I think. How many MacBooks have you used? I've had uh, a 15 inch MacBook Pro. No, if, the regular MacBook with the Core M processor. I think I play with one in an Apple yeah. store. And that's where that's where I'm. I listen. I'm, I would love to buy one. I don't have thirteen hundred dollars burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> if I did, but, but that's where I, I think I, I think they're going to go down. I think they're going to go down the t- touchscreen route. I mean, I think there's certain things they did to go after Samsung, which I think is foolish. Yeah, don't go but, after Samsung. But oh. that that's where I think they're trying to they're trying to hit too many different. They're trying to have companies, a price. but and, and I think they're going to go after the touchscreen. No, market. No, 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 I don't think they'll go after the touchscreen market. If they go touchscreen anything, they're going to go iPad Pro, and it'll be iOS with the split screen. But you can and, do that on an Air too. So what's what's the purpose of going pro? With a bigger screen, with a twelve inch screen. I just don't see. They go after. I, the I know. Market. I know. Though, but but you don't get the desktop caliber apps. Yeah, but they have how many? However many apps for the iPad, and how many app use cases don't work because you can't run them side by side with something else. I agree with that. I just don't. I, I see them. I see them coming out with a desktop that has. By the way, you screen. you do know that there is a MacBook with a touchscreen, right? You can, yeah, but you have to buy it third party. Yeah, it's a third party. A guy ripped. There's a company that rips apart, and MacBooks. you have to send them the MacBook. Yeah, you buy a MacBook Ooh. Pro, you send it to them, and then they rip it apart, turn it into a touchscreen, and then they send it back to you. But I, I just think the UI right now does not lend itself at all whatsoever. No, to a touchscreen, and it never, and it's not going to get any better. It's going to be just like all of the various windows devices that have tried to be touchscreens with a desktop it doesn't work you have like this is the de- this is the thing that people I, are going to use on their device and uh, tapping on that chrome window would be a nightmare oh i totally agree with you so I then don't why think- why are they doing things like bringing the swipe to manage your inbox and look how big that ui gets i don't need all that space yeah but that's the default look that's been the default look since day one of mail Wow, this is an actual <laughs> argument. <laughs> yeah, like Wait, this and, is, that's and you guys are arguing on. about the mail app. Yeah, that's wh- that's where we are. You want you want that hard hitting <laughs> tech stuff? Come here. So I mean, but that's the thing. That's the default <laughs> mail. UI. That's the default mail UI. It has been like that forever. And, and people use it because it is the default mail UI. And it looks the same across devices. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is, and it's unfortunate because it is that one so not good. <laughs> I just see that. I just see them taking a lot of steps where they they're seem like they're going down the path of hey let's let's enable a touchscreen. I really think all of the things that they're doing are just to make it so that it's easier to transition from an iPad to a Mac. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And not Well, how, look at either. how much they've they've changed over the years too. So, you know, we have our notification center, we have our launch pad. But by the way, know? does anybody you, do you use notification center on the Mac? Not as much. I, it, well, actually I The I, only I, thing I really like is the fact that it, I don't have to install Growl to get the pop-up <laughs> notifications in the top right corner. Right, right. That's it. I don't actually ever. Get That's actually what I use. That are ever. That's actually what I use for my calculator. Is is over there? Yeah. Um, and then I have a nice stat mini it. over there, and uh, I I don't know. I don't use the social because I have so many social accounts. I never think to use the ones over here. But um, I use it to call people back sometimes. If I miss a call on my cell phone, and my cell phone, I've actually taken a decent amount of phone calls from FaceTime. I would love to do. Off. I'm always to- worried to do that. I'm no, always here's, here's why I here's why I'm I, I don't do that because I learned the hard way that uh, when they what was it iOS eight when they did uh, handoff for phone calls mm-hmm. 
if you have one account, it rings all your devices. Yes. So my wife was getting my phone calls. Oh. For like work Oof. phone calls in the middle of the day <laughs> from like North Carolina. And numbers. that's why you don't like, share your accounts. Yes. <laughs> no, I share my, well, that's this, we started sharing an account long before family mm-hmm. sharing was a thing. Yeah. So I didn't want to double, we, I mean, we double body like Angry Birds and stuff like that. And I was like, wait a minute, why don't we just put everything under one account and then you can share apps. Mm-hmm. Once we got the once she got the iPad and she was able to like read like download apps on different devices without repaying, I was like, let's just do one account. So we only buy an app once. So like I bought Tweetbot, and I have it on both of her. Both so of what her we phones. would do is we would sync back with a PC and then caught like literally drag the file over to the other device, which it's not wireless. No, it no, I, I don't us. have time for that. So. Yeah, so I shared an account. So you had to my uh, the CEO of my old company found that out the hard way too. So mm. <laughs> that's See, why that's every, everybody who goes through that has a horrible, horrible time with text messages blending and iMessage, mm-hmm. like random apps downloading and filling up space because the other person has a smaller device. Yeah, mm-hmm. like my <laughs> wife has a 16 gig iPhone and I have a 64. I was iPhone, shocked. So. I have a I have a 3GS in the kitchen that's just for it's music. it's there it's music and I open it up and and and, and I was like what what's happening with this thing? And I slipped slipped over and anything that I've downloaded in the past like two months that happened oh. to still be what iOS five compatible Ooh. or whatever it is four maybe. Um, all downloaded like a bunch of games, a bunch of random stuff, and I was just like deleting everything. <laughs> yeah, nuke because <laughs> there's no reason. Because uh, the, I'm like I'm not I'm not gonna run those games or anything on there. It's gonna take forever to load. Uh, you know, plus just looking at 3GS screen after having a 5S for a while, you're just you're just like, how did I manage on this thing? Oh yeah, I, I've seen like an iPhone 3GS or a 3G, and I'm like, it's so tiny mm-hmm. and so <laughs> jaggedy. <laughs> Um, they, uh, they added in some nice things into, uh, notes. Yeah. I saw this on the, uh, RIP Evernote for on me. the <laughs> iOS part of it. I know I'm, I use notes basically for everything. Uh, I've been using I Evernote. Use it all. So yeah. I left, I started using Evernote. I didn't like some of the cross platform stuff. So I started going back to notes and this is definitely see on the deal for that. Yeah. I, I, right now the only thing I'm using Evernote, I used to use Evernote like very, very heavily for work. Mm hmm. Uh, and then I, I can't anymore for <laughs> web proxy reasons. And then, uh, yeah, so I use, uh, I, the only reason I use Evernote is to sync grocery lists with my wife. Um, so now I'm into, uh, this, I'm kind of into this. Once this comes out, then I'll probably switch. So, so a lot of functionality to it. And I, and I like, it's, it just, it just syncs everything across. I usually don't have any problems. Um, but, there's more pictures and attachments and annotation for annotations. The pictures, which it, they, didn't they say something where you'll be able to take your browser and grab something off the browser and annotate it right from the browser to throw it into notes? I didn't catch that. Which it seems like to me that's a that's a hit on Microsoft's new some of their new capability with Windows 10 and yeah. and what is the Spartan browser? Well, you, they had the annotation stuff in Mail last year. Yes. That's where a lot of that. That's where I'm sure so that code came from. Um, but yeah, photos. The new photos app is is real fun. They took a hit at Chromecast. Airplay to share web video without <laughs> sharing your whole screen. So what? now you can airplay without airplay in the whole screen. Yeah. Really? Congratulations. Uh, I need to put that. I need to make sure that uh, El Capitan gets on my wife's laptop so I can watch college football this fall, <laughs> <laughs> like properly. Uh, although uh, doing the whole screen. I'll throw four games up at once. You know, there's, there's a little, there's a little on, an animal. on Chromecast though. It's kind of nice that um, um, I, I did this earlier today. I was watching uh, Ring of Honor on their website, and if you have a web player that doesn't have straight Chromecast, and you do the cast the tab in Chrome, and you hit full screen, it won't actually full screen. It'll full screen on your TV, and it'll fill as big as the resolution is in the browser, and that's it. Huh. Give it a shot. It's going to depend on flash player to flash player or, or whatever video player that you're in. But it, it does that interpretation. Then you're not losing an entire computer. Like and I was still doing that. And then I was work. Uh, surprisingly, I was still working on Final Cut and streaming the thing to my TV. Uh, I, I was I was shocked that I still had uh, enough CPU and enough bandwidth that that was pretty smooth because usually like it's kind of choppy. You yeah. know, and I'm running on like a 2011 MacBook i7 crazy thing over yeah. here so so i had a lot of horsepower to kind of work with but but uh, there's a little tip for that but 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 again it's not a, it's not for everything of course yeah and i the couple other things here that they had maps. uh maps gets transit 
which is pretty great, except mm-hmm. it's not. They're only doing like select cities in the U.S. They're Whatever doing, they can. I mean, it's one of those things when you roll something out, it's going to be we got this, this, and this, and it'll be really more. Really wish Pittsburgh was one of them. It's not even one of them. No, wow. no, it's like the top ten most well, traveled and that's what cities in the world. And that's why, like, like Mad Mike, like three hundred cities. Man, Mike was saying, it's like, well, that's something I've been using in Hubstuff for a while. It's like, yeah, but it's built in. That's the point. It's like, yeah, we've had music radio for a while, but now it's built in, as we'll talk about later. You yeah, know, I. It, it's about I, them I adopting these things. I switched over to Google Maps. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we went to New York, because you know needed to know where the uh, the subway was, mm-hmm. and then uh, then I started tra- I started taking the bus to work, and now I uh, I use I use it for that just to say oh hey when's the next bus coming yeah and do you yeah. do you use Google Maps for that or do yeah. you just use oh so the Google app with now cards I yeah. just use that a lot I use Google well. Maps just because I'm uh, it's right there on my home screen I actually use uh, I use Transit. And it's and I, I got the, I have the notification thing, uh, but I mean all I need is know is like when's this train coming? I, I haven't really tried with like other buses to see if that right. works or anything like that. But it's just like uh, okay, uh, next next inbounds come coming in four minutes. The one after that's thirty four. Do I rush or do I wait for the next one? Like that's the only mentality. I may need to, need to uh, worry about that. I may need to I may need to do that because that notification swipe down might be might be mean. Yeah, because um, it's right there and uh, and if it, it defaults to inbound. It kind of knows where I am and usually I'm going inbound if I'm out here and outbound if I'm downtown, so it'll give me that automatically. Yeah, and the, the Google Now cards know that for me because it knows where I'm physically at now and it knows the random times I travel during the day and it knows where I am and where I'm probably and going. That's a, you're, yeah. on, you're talking about the iOS Google Now? Yes. So, But you yeah. still have to go into... You have to open up Google. You still have to go into Google itself. But I like it. I like being in there because I'm also getting all the tech news and a bunch of other junk that right. I, I want at the same time. Now I don't yeah. think I don't think mine has that just yet. Probably just I don't know. I'm sure it does. I've been I've been abusing mm-hmm. this for the longest time. I'm I'm sure I'm going to turn into something dangerous here if I start looking in here. But no, I just it just pops up on the notifications and I have it right there. There's inbound for downtown, and if I want to go outbound, this is like South Hills Village. I can just tap it and go back. We got metal. I, I can also I can also get Uber. I'm afraid I'm going to accidentally tap that here and get an Uber at my house in like in ten minutes and like have a problem. Uber is pretty fun though, so I was tempted. They had a uh, code to do a twenty dollar ride uh, leaving demo day last week. They just changed their privacy stuff, and I didn't. Uh, they just changed their privacy statement, and I I saw it on the way over here. I was like, mm, is it getting weird? No, they said they rewrote it and made it like a lot simpler. Which nice hopefully is nice. Uh, so yeah, there was that. They got we they put the metal graphics engine into the Mac, so you can game developers can use it, and uh, app developers, regular app developers who are not game developers, can use it for. Um, they can use it for making their animations. Just, just GPU. Just GPU. Yeah. So this is is this is not a replacement for say like the Unreal Engine. This is like. Like, because I thought they said like Unreal, uh, the the guys at Epic do, that do the Unreal Engine said they were even getting more performance out of it. Using yeah, I, I think that they can use they can use the Metal Engine to get native GPU access right on iOS devices, and I think that they've added that into the added that into the Mac. Um, a bunch of different you know performance improvements. It's this is hopefully the cleanup year, and everything gets a lot more stable, and everything's great. Mm-hmm. That's I that, hope some of the, the where, handoff and the um, automatic uh, continuity continuity but also with the ability to share my internet connection off my phone that seems really spotty i've i've had that problem where like the hotspot decides that it's just not gonna work mm-hmm. it's like and i'm done i have to turn it i have to turn it off and then turn it back on yeah and i'm fine i gotta do it all the time so but, yeah that that that's, that's not the kind fun. of stuff that's the kind of cleanup stuff and i think as they try to go towards the macbook let's get rid of ports and let everything's wireless yeah, you got to get better at that. They need this cleanup. Yeah, yeah. They have um, the, the one of the things that came out in one of the. the let's get super nerdy here, everyone. Uh, so they had this uh, this service called Discovery D, which if you're a Mac user, you know Discovery D by uh, anytime you go into your like network preferences or anything like that, and the computer name is like. AJ's MacBook Pro parentheses one or parentheses two or parentheses, parentheses one hundred and fifty. <laughs> right, that's Discovery D. Um, Discovery D has been super duper buggy. The uh, the team or the guy that used to maintain MDNS Responder, which was their old network discovery software, uh, he left Apple, and the uh, airport team 
picked up the new the new software and they said, hey, let's make something new and better. So they made Discovery D and it went in with Yosemite and it's been P terrible. So actually in the latest 1010 betas, it's out. It's out and they brought the old one back. And people figured out a long time ago that everybody thought that like, oh, Discovery D, you need it for the the new like handoff and continuity features. And then people started putting the old MDNS responder back and everything still worked. And they went, okay, now why? No, seriously, why is this here? When the problem is that the second gen Apple TV that hasn't gotten an OS update in a while. Yeah. That that's one of the culprits on a lot of people's network is the Apple TV that's screwing up. Yeah, because the problem is is that when you have the once the problem starts, the well has been poisoned. <laughs> you need to drain the well and refill it. I've heard of this. So you, so, you have to shut off everything in your house, all the internet yep. connectivity, all the Wi Fi. Yeah. And how many people you gotta think about the people that get Apple stuff do not want to do that no that's not no they're like oh this is the thing i plug in and it works and those are the people that are just going to be completely done in by this yeah and that's where i think they really need to that's they're going to have to go back and patch some old equipment that they put that in on and and hope in hopes to fix this yeah so that that one that's hopefully in this um swift went to 2.0 an open source and open source. Uh, yeah, that's that is the language and the standard library, so you can write things in Swift elsewhere. Uh, none of the frameworks. No. That uh, and and then they're saying use. like Xcode is open source. That doesn't mean that you're going to see this much outside of Apple still. Um, but I, I think you could you could write you could write server side things in Swift. It'd have now. to be pretty specialized if you decided to do that. Yeah, and I think that there's a number of. Um, There's a number of different things uh, that that come along with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's kind of I'm kind of happy that they did it. Um, they combined the they combine the developer um, program yeah. in, into one as well. Yeah, they, they How com- do you mean? yeah. So iOS and Mac developer programs used to be completely separate. Oh, uh, they are now one. Oh, the 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 Triforce is now unified. We're talking about the pro- like the actual. Program, developer program the, like the, the, yeah. the thing you sign up for so yeah, you, yeah, you used yeah. to have to, to sign up like, to be an ios developer or, or a, mac developer. a mac developer so now that's one program and uh that includes the watch too yes. um so yeah uh, that's that's os 10 uh, honestly they 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 kind of breezed through it they were done oh i think it was an hour and a half with all of the with all of os 10 all of ios and the watch they were done in like an hour and a half and then they took forever for music. So okay, we'll we, get there. Let's, let's yeah, get let's, let's get, get to iOS. Yeah. So let's iOS get that. We're, we're already half an hour into this, so let's get hey, to let's, iOS. We, but we're going long, kids. Uh, slice on Broadway. In the meantime, is how we're fueling this conversation. Actually, <laughs> since everybody I'm, is in studio and uh, they have had their fill of the uh, pepperoni pizza, thanks to the guys over at Slice on Broadway. Check them out. They're right along the tracks here in Beachview. Oh, that's the wrong computer. Uh, they're right along the tracks here in Beachview. And uh, and uh, uh, check them out. And also down in Carnegie, PA, down on Main Street. Uh, they're supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with great pepperoni pizza. And we thank them for that. Check them out. Uh, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitters, on Facebook, on Instagram. And let them know you heard about them on Awesome Cast or uh, one of the other great shows here at SorgatronMedia.com. So, iOS 9. Again, kind of the same thing, right? A lot of extras. The biggest, I think... Um, exciting updates coming to this are going to be for your iPad and to very limited iPads. Um, we know Chilla is good for this, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, so, 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 so you're getting, you're only getting full split screen if you're on the air too. But the, uh, no, no, I thought it was but a, the air that you'll get the app pinning. Okay. Where you can quick flip between apps from what it sounded like. Okay. And I haven't taken the jump. I'm running eight, for beta whatever the new beta was today on my ipad i usually i'm waiting for beta 2 to come out to load it on my ipad and then i'll probably go beta 3 on Mm -hmm. the phone Mm -hmm. one of the things and i don't think it was in the um the keynote i don't think they covered app thinning but i think app thinning is going to be one of the bigger features especially as we talk so app thinning is this theory where when you build an app, right, and it's it's for both 
iPad and, and, and phone. That thing where it has, you have all the assets. So I have all the assets for the, my iPad on my phone because it, it, it pulled it in, right? So, yeah. right. Not only look at that. So there's three different graphic assets. Yep. And there's two different processor assets. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> so the X, the X processors are slightly different than the non X processors. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So 32, 64 bit. So, and there was one other right, layer. Right, right. There was one other layer where it was the GPU. Yeah. So hardware that supports metal versus hardware that doesn't support metal also gets a different so set of assets. So like legacy older older stuff, like my iPad 3 here probably has the uses the older assets. Uses right. the older assets. So. so but all of those assets for all of so two different chip architectures, three different graphic platforms, and two different GPU oh, platforms. Geez. <laughs> all combined into one giant file, and that's, and that's why, and, and that's, that's why Mortal Kombat gets. is a gigabyte. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So now, when you go to post and get a get an app, yeah. it's going to actually only grab the assets it needs on the fly. Yeah. And then pull them down because to that I mean device. that's just a checkbox. It's like okay, you're an iPad three, so you have these graphics, uh, this processor, and what was the other thing? Like, and it's an iPad versus an I- right. iPhone. So, so you check the boxes and you grab those bits of packages, but, right? But you don't have to check the boxes. It, yeah, I'm you saying, show up. I'm saying, I'm saying that yeah, the process on their right. end is they check these boxes here, grab the this 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 and this part off of the shelf and build right. the app. Right. Well, what's what's uh, funny to me is that they're doing all of this work to like thin apps and everything. And hey, Apple, just ship bigger phones. <laughs> Stop selling sixteen gig iPhones. Or the, or there's still eights out there. The there's still the eights eight out there. Yeah, yeah. That, they're doing all of this stuff because they made the silly decision to sell eight gig iPhones. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and look, and the other thing is they they have to figure out they're gonna, still going to support the four S. Yes. Oh, yeah. All the way, Stop all supporting the, way the A5 Apple. The, and the I iPad. Die. The iPad 2. All the way back yeah. to the iPad 2 and I, the, four, the 4S. I fully believe that they're doing this because they figured out how to make the The A5 oh. is a perfectly good chip for things like mm-hmm. the iPad, the iPod Touch, mm-hmm. and the iPad 2, and the Apple, and the TV. Apple TV. <laughs> and they were like, hey, here's this great general purpose chip. Make it by the billion. <laughs> and they just... <laughs> And they know that they can make it at this like super low cost because they've but been making not, it forever. But they're not selling that anymore. They're not but, selling but any wait of that. Yeah, so, so yeah they are. Only, the fifth yeah. gen iPod Touch, the Apple T, the current yes. gen Apple TV. Oh jeez, all of this stuff is still running the A5. Not not wow. to mention it was only a month ago that they stopped 3GS replacements. Yeah, so you could like, still. Yeah. A month oh ago, man, I've, two I've, months I've ago, passed you, that boat, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you did. You could choo, go. Choo, that thing is gone. <laughs> you could go into the Apple Store and be like, my 3GS broke, and they'd be like, here's a new one. So I mean, if you had like Apple, uh, I'll exchange that thing like twice. So I think so, I, I think I'd had my my fill. So here's the the only thing that they that you can do now if you want to be a developer and I guess be a jerk to your customer base, um, you can now set the app targeting to only work on 64 bit devices, which is the iPhone 5s and newer, and the iPad Air, Air and newer. Um, hey. That that's a way to do it. Like there are developers who are just like, can we please just let the A five go, mm-hmm. please, mm-hmm. please, please, please. So because and, that's and the last right, three and a half. I, inch I device. kind of agree with them because they they get people that are complaining that their app has poor performance. Did we on have their did, did we have the same thing happen between the uh, the uh, uh, old G fives and to the Intel switch? To, to a bit, or was, sort of. That was more of a compatibility layer, that was, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a compatibility layer called Rosetta. Yeah. And that also had um, the fact that you're running two different instruction sets, PowerPC versus x86. So it's a little more than just a 32 to 64. And the fact that the Intel chips blew the G5 out of the water. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's, I mean, there was a number of different reasons there. Yeah. Um, besides the whole. But, but it wouldn't be the first time that they've had a hard line like that. Yeah, I mean, they need, at some they point, they need the to. They the line forever, though. It did. Yeah. It did. But I, I, at this point, I think that they just need to. I get so sad when somebody brings me a copy of Office, like 2011 or no, not even that, probably 20, 2007. 2008. And 2008 was that, that one. Yeah. yeah, and they're like, can you put this on this new, brand new Mac Mini? I'm like, one, no CD drive. Two, no. No. <laughs> no, just go buy that sweet, sweet Office 365 service. It's a it's $100. It's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they uh, the 
that's that. I mean, iOS nine, they did a lot of the same things they did on OS ten. They did. They did. They I mean, made the, the, a lot the, of features. Uh, one of the hey everybody, install iOS nine, and in the right conditions, you'll get an extra hour of battery life. That was a that was interesting. So, so they they, they described this as uh, we know when the battery's low and you're trying to switch things off and toggle things off. Well, we have this new mode that turns toggles you didn't know were there. And yeah, you know, uh, and you get an extra hour out of it. What they say yeah. that, well, then, they, they, well it, then they have low power mode, which is three power hours reserve. Right, right. So that's th- you get an extra three hours with low power mode. You get an extra well, hour well, just it, off top. What do you get when you turn that on? Because that's like oh, I'm that's sure like, the Samsung had it, and Samsung, it's like yeah, the screen goes black and white, <laughs> Wi-Fi gets turned off, <laughs> the cell radio gets turned off, uh, Bluetooth gets turned off. It's like what do I get to do with this again? The data lower. radio gets turned off, but I think you get to keep your voice. You can still make yeah, a you phone can still call. make phone calls, but you can't make um, you can't do mass can't do any of data. data. Uh, yeah, so I mean, those are probably the things that they do. All of the notes, things that are on uh, OS X, uh, the rich text media, bulleted list, mm-hmm. pictures, it makes drawing, sense. It makes sense. There'll be parody. All that stuff is all over on OS. Uh, is all no, on my iOS. problem is, and this is the problem. Last time was we released the one and said, "Oh, you know, like the iCloud situation. Oh, you want to turn the cl- iCloud drive? It's like, great. This won't work till the next month when this comes out for your computer. Yeah. Good luck. You know, they they really there's a huge disconnect there." And, and, and I, uh, same well, with the I photos. Think, Photo- I think that that was a that was a support issue. Mm-hmm. Like, do you support it in not just well because iCloud Drive didn't come and it isn't in Mavericks. It's only in Yosemite. Yeah, yeah. and and, so. and I think there was an explanation. There wasn't enough of a big red button that says, "Are you sure you want to do this? Do you ha- is everything else that's well, accessing this on Yosemite?" Well, that was a fun part during the beta because uh, the iCloud Drive took over. I turned it on on my phone. Yeah. And uh, document iCloud Documents and Data, and I explained this last year. I'm pretty sure I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, iCloud Documents and Data is how Downcast used to save um, all of your sync stuff. Mm-hmm. So I had the Mac version of Downcast and the iOS version of Downcast, and I wanted to sync my playlists and downloads and playback, st- or playback location and everything. And it couldn't do it because I turned on iCloud Drive, and so Downcast had nowhere to put it, and so it wasn't syncing. Um, when you see iCloud Drive, you're not going to be able to unhide it. Yeah, there's an actual iCloud Drive app on the iPhone. It's an act. Yeah, it's a <laughs> hidden thing. It's a setting. You turn off the you turn the setting off, and the app appears. And so it's not this uh, it's not magical, a, mystical it's thing not that magical just mystical. happens. Yeah, hey, the- I hey Apple, can you do that for literally every other app you ship with the phone? <laughs> like, can I turn stocks off? That'd be great. Oh, um, I yes. put everything in a. I have to throw everything. Everybody, in a folder. everybody puts it in the folder. <laughs> everybody, shout! Hey, shout out to everybody who has every app, every uh, app that comes with their iPhone shoved into a folder somewhere. Do they still make Compass? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a Compass app. See, I have them spread out because I, I have them like I have the utilities, and that's usually a lot of the junk stuff from yeah. Apple. You know, I, I mean, mean, everything is spread out. My, to mine's where called they... useless. <laughs> <laughs> I have a folder called useless. I mean, I have, yeah, literally everything that came with the iPhone is all in that like, silly. Now, see, I use Passbook. I and, use, and now I you're going to have, but I don't use so, it, so that, like, we have the Apple, the Apple Watch icon, for instance, for all of us that are never going to want get an Apple Watch. Never for say reason. never. Sword. It will, it, I'm not saying that I'm not. Sword but there, will there, never what, say never. never. So how how much space do you, do you think that actually takes up? Because I had Probably someone, not a I had lot. someone saying. I'm almost out of space. I need to be able to use, remove the watch app. I'm like, nope. If you're almost out of space. You need to remove much more than the watch app. Yeah. yeah I would actually love to know how much all of the Apple apps take up. That'd be kind of neat. I'm sure it's like probably 400 meg. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing it's not even that much. Oh, I'm sure it is. The Apple, the Apple watch app has like all the, it had, you, you paired your watch with it. It had the fancy, the fancy animation and everything like that. Yeah, but I don't know if that was graphical or vector drawn. But yeah, but I'm guessing, and it's not taking the, the app pieces mm. that it has or redirect pointers to the actual apps that you installed. So there's not to me that it's a bunch of toggles. Mm. And how do you want to yeah. be notified? So stocks is I, uh, pretty I'm, much an RSS feed. Yeah, um, I mean, there's there's no, voice memos. I could see getting large if you actually make voice memos. Um, I gotta say though the uh, the Apple Watch app I haven't opened it too often, but it's very fancy for somebody who doesn't even have an Apple Watch. That's to get you to buy it. Good mm-hmm. evening. If you have one, you can pair it with your iPhone here. If you don't, 
Then go buy one. Can I pair with Chilla's phone? <laughs> I'm I'm super. That up. was pretty cool. So how you pair is like it puts this cool code. animation code up. Yeah, it's not mm. a QR code. It's like <laughs> uh, it's like a jellyfish. Yeah, it it's looks like, like a jellyfish. And then you have to chill. Bring your phone or bring your watch over here. I can't. I can't repair because no, he's already oh, paired. No. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. So you put the uh, you put the it, the watch has like a weird jellyfish thing. You hold your phone up to it. It picks up on the jellyfish, and then animations happen, and it starts syncing everything. Jeez. I would love nothing more than to have an Apple Watch right now, but um, I was kind of waiting for Gen Two slash. I was kind of waiting for Apple to drop the bomb on everybody. The native apps weren't going to happen on the first watch. And so uh, they did. They didn't. Well, they mm-hmm. didn't say that it wasn't going to work on the Apple Watch, but they dropped. They 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 announced native watch apps. Well, mm-hmm. actually, uh, well, iOS nine well, it, news news is the big thing, and we'll get to that. So so basically, it's a, a built-in Flipboard, but the news people will have to format for this, and this is where I run into, and that'll be in phase two, from what I from what I've heard. Phase two. So the early, and in fact, I was actually going to recommend this to you. There's actually a way, if you have an RSS feed today for your news, Mm -hmm. you can go and enroll as a news service. And it sounds like it's pretty much open to everyone. So Sorgatron.com could be an easy news channel on Apple News. And then they're saying New York Times, they're going to do so many articles per day for free. Um... Yeah, because uh, there's no ads. The only way to get ads into this is to use iAd. Mm-hmm. Um, so now you're, go- oh, you're automatically going through that to for Wire to monetize that content, which right. you normally you'd be going to their website and seeing their ads. Right. So you, now you're channeling through that. So that's why it's kind of more partners. And then how, what do I do as somebody that contributes? Now me, I just want somebody to see my stuff most likely. But you can I, turn on iAd and you get... So here's here's the way that this works. And I so so I can become pretty much like a news... Sorry. provider mm-hmm. sign into there like what do i get a developer account or something no, and I'm able to there's, this there's, is a, just, publisher there's a publisher and that's where it is so right now the, the only when you're a publisher pretty much the only thing you can do is put in your rss feed yeah mm-hmm. and then i think later on you're going to see i'll actually build, be able to format build off of author i'm guessing they're going to build some kind of publication piece and the the interesting part to this is that the way that iAd works is if you bring if you've sold your own ads and you bring the ads to Apple, you get one hundred percent of the revenue. So like the New York Times has a giant ad department and they're gonna bring in their own ads and they're gonna get a hundred percent of the revenue. If you are not selling your own ads, you can use iAd, which Apple sells, and you get seventy percent of the revenue. And those ads are seen as part of people reading your stuff. This is how they're monetizing it. What's interesting to me, and I'm going to completely rip off the fine folks at Accidental Tech Podcast, um, Apple had to basically talk about how content publishers will benefit from this, which was not something that Facebook had to do with instant articles. Right. Mm-hmm. Because Facebook has a giant audience already, and people are just going to go to Facebook, and they're going to see these articles, and they're just going to click on them, and there's nothing changes. With this, this is a completely separate app that Apple has, and they need to get readers to be excited about this aka you're not going to have to stare at like 6,000 ads when you're trying to read one story on the New York Times and like halfway through there's like a giant square that's like you should go visit Slice on Broadway the best pizza in the South Hills and th- yeah there you go free plug <laughs> and then they 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 format to that you don't have to format around all these things so it's actually kind of weird to look at an article where there's no ads in the middle um, so or right it now, doesn't it, automatically page forward you somewhere that you can then you can't even finish the ad or the, right. the article. But. Right. So they're going to have the Apple News format for publishers, where they'll be able to format everything and make it look really, really, really cool. Uh, but for right now, it's just RSS feeds and it's basically Flipboard. But um, but I think this is where where if, if bloggers and and people trying to generate content get in early, 
I think you're you gonna, could ride that wave. You could ride that wave all the way to the end. I'm currently signing up to ride the wave. <laughs> I'm about That's halfway through the process. So, <laughs> so go to Sorgatron. So once you download that <laughs> iOS nine, open up the news app and find Sorgatron Media. Sorgatron Media, your source for wrestling. So, okay, chat it, is, it is nice. So you, other news. you do go in here, and it, it is. Hold on, hold on. There it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. You, probably, you guys it's can't see it on the TV, but on it's video, washed. it's gonna be washed out. But it's all white. Thank you, Apple. Um, <laughs> but but I have a section name, so I have a main one. I put the RS feed for just SorgatronMedia.com. And then uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show, I just put the RSS feed for Wrestling Mayhem Show wrestlingmayhemshow.com so I can split that out, it looks like. Now, and curious. you can be... Yeah, and that, that was one of their big things that a lot of other services don't allow you to do is you can be in multiple categories. So I can have one under Sports for Mayhem Show, then go and put one under Tech for Awesome Cast. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, so I'm actually excited about this because I think I think this is going to give a lot of good content publishers that we're not aware of. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get them in early and we're going to get to see stuff that we didn't even know existed. Mm -hmm. So so that's where I think the news the news actually was going to be my awesome thing of the week. Because I'm looking so, forward so, to it So, so do much. you feel like does this kill off your Feedly? Does this kill off? I guess it doesn't kill off Feedly for me because I can't add my own who I follow to it. If they're not in there, they're not there. They're not there. But I'm guessing they're going to quickly do something since they can process off an RSS feed. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering if they're going to do something where, almost like Flipboard did, where I can create my own, my own news channel per se, or I can recommend that they pick up something. So and if there's an RSS feed out there, right? It's like if, if I went out and found someone's podcast that wasn't in iTunes, I could literally build the RSS feed for it, submit it to Apple, and then their podcast is on iTunes. I don't know how legal that would be, but it, pretty much you're just submitting an RSS source. And there has to be something for them to keep from that happening. Right. Because somebody else could, could benefit from that. I mean, I, I've heard other, like Twitter said that they, people are taking their feeds and putting ads around them. And uh, and they're having nothing to do with it, mm-hmm. and and they're completely just just pushed out of that entire process, and 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 that's a problem because then if, if somebody's doing that and, and and they find your content and think that's what you represent, that, that's a huge issue for for your own identity as a as a content provider. So I'm still we're going through the process. I had to make a PNG for this uh, for my logo, so it looks fancy, just like the Wired logo did above everything, apparently. I'm completely going through the process, guys. Cool. <laughs> so I'm hoping think, it gives uh, me a preview. Definitely. I'm really hoping it gives me a preview here, uh, so I can really kind of show you what it's going to look like. Uh, again, not really kind of doing much. And the publisher, you hit the button, uh, the link from the 9to5 Mac, Mac article, and it actually pops into the iCloud.com. You sign in with your iCloud, and it, you, start, you see your screen for a second, but it boots you into this other thing. Now I'm agreeing to terms and conditions. Thank they you. now own SorgatronMedia.com. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. But it, it's interesting. So, so again, this is a, a... I'm always iffy on something like this because there's a lot of people that don't use these things, right? A mail, for instance, right? Um, uh, who, does, who doesn't use iOS mail? Oh, jeez. Uh, I used to use iOS mail. Or no, actually, I stopped using iOS mail for a long time because I was using the Outlook app. Mm-hmm. Because it worked with Exchange way better. But but I guess I'm I'm looking at your average. So us not sitting in the room, which we know is the majority of iOS users, like the, the non tech people. Gmail. But see, I like I, I look at my family members. My my mom doesn't know to go grab the Gmail app unless That's I fair. tell her. That's fair. Go grab the Gmail app. But the one thing she does see is all those icons that are on the front. She oh, doesn't. Mail. She doesn't do folder all those. Yeah. She You're doesn't right. folder all those junk icons that we folder. Mm-hmm. And, and this is where I look at someone's going to say, oh, there's a news app. I can go find the news. Yep. And yep. they're going to see all this curated content. But that that was newsstand. <laughs> that went <laughs> but so newsstand well. Was, was a wreck. And newsstand isn't going away, right? Like you can no, still, no, no, I can no, still no. Subscribe. RIP. It's gone. Really? It's a folder now. Really? Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. So, I, so, I so Siri gets some intelligence. Siri right. gets Siri Where gets way start? more Google now. Because um, now you're going to be able to swipe all the way to the right. right. Left. Yeah, you'll swipe right. But swipe this right, this but goes back <laughs> to what Spotlight was before. Mm-hmm. So, Spotlight search used to be on the far left screen, and then you could search for all sorts of things. Now that's where Siri 
sort of lives and it's more proactive. So, hey, it's 530. You call your wife every day. We're going to go ahead and put your wife right here. Or uh, you, it's 530 and you use the transit app because you want to know how to get home. Or you use Twitter right now. Or, hey, it's lunchtime. Here's Yelp to go find a good lunch spot. And it uses a lot of the like proactive thinking and the proactive services stuff. But here's the fun part. It is device only. They are not sending your stuff to iCloud. It's the privacy play. It's mm-hmm. the privacy play, which is hilarious because as, as John Syracuse on the Accidental Tech Podcast pointed out, what happens if I don't check that account on my, what happens if the email that it, want, that it wants me to see on my iPhone, I don't check that on my iPad. I don't have that account on my iPad. Does it know? And if it does know, how does it know? Hmm. And he, it was it was really interesting to see that. Like, how does it handle two different? Um, how does it handle the per device thing? Mm-hmm. Like, I have an iPad, I have an iPhone, I have the Apple Watch. How does it handle all those devices? And, and well, and the, but that's why situations? I think like that the Apple Watch doesn't connect to the iPad, and that's why I, I think you would get two different. Okay, so if the Two Apple Watch different representations, um, yeah. So if the Apple Watch doesn't connect to the iPad, how are they doing the um, displays in the Apple Store? Is there a phone underneath that that thing? Underneath what? So have you seen the 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 Apple Watch demo units in the Apple Store? Sidebar. I, I I just I just presume that that's an extra like it's just a, a Bluetooth device and they have a special connection that syncs that up. Like that, that display there. You're talking about so the one where it's a there's, screen. And there's then... a there, so there's the watch is here, and then there's an iPad here. And when you do stuff on the watch, it shows like things happening on the iPad. So I have not seen that. Yeah, I, I always thought so that I, the, I always thought the like, watch connected to the iPad. So there's no watch app, right? So right now there's maybe they're just doing I, like either a way, sneaky, yeah. sneaky no, thing. no, no. Either way, they're they're writing their own software. It's like when oh, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. when I went and got my battery tested, they're like, yeah, that we we plugged this in and we have this 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 diagnostics, and it, it it takes this rating on the battery, and it's like, yeah, we don't we don't open this up to other developers to see. No, no, no. no. Nice. I'm sure that they don't. You know, it's a so they, API. they I mean they have access to all kinds of things on this device. That right, but it was like stuff. interesting to me. It's like, oh yeah, wait, you can't connect it to an iPad. Well, then how are they doing the thing? Yeah, it's just secret Apple stuff. Yeah. Um, so basically, it's, it's um, this thing over here, uh, this little thing, and that's is yeah, that, that's that. not an iPad. That's just yeah, no, that's an iPad. That's an iPad I'm sure it's an iPad. One hundred percent an iPad. Wow, it, it, it's hidden very well, and I thought the screen didn't match any other iPad kind of situation. Looks no, like a mini. It's it's definitely a Retina iPad. Mini. Okay, no, it's an Air. It's an Air. It's at least an Air. It's a ten inch iPad. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I could um, but anyways, uh, well, let's so, move on. Uh, speaking cyber. of Apple Watch, we, we have like 20 minutes left. So uh, Apple Watch, a uh, lot of the updates, a lot of the things you said about uh, onboard apps. Yeah, the, the onboard apps, apps the um, native apps. So you don't have to have it pulling data from your uh, pulling data from your phone. Apparently, the speed is a huge issue when it's doing that. right? Yes, because it's trying to pull everything over. Yeah, and that's the, that is the one thing I, I notice. If, I, if there's apps that you use all the time, it's great. When there's an app that you use like once every third day, it's you just pull out your phone. <laughs> just, mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't, the, don't even bother. And the um, so native watch apps will help with speed, and then we add in the. Um, did they do a watch page like they did for yeah. iOS and now Capitan? Yeah, they yeah, also they had the, um, and they have uh, third party complications, so the little like what's your next calendar event or anything like that. Those mm-hmm. are now open to developers as well. And also the, uh, the time menu, which completely kills the pebble time, uh, time travel, <laughs> idea. time travel, time so travel. You move forward it. on the, um, you move forward on the, on the digital crown and it will move forward in your, uh, events. So, so the one that I really like for the, for the watch face is the cities that go by the time of day. Do mm-hmm. you see those where you can have like London, right? And when you look at your watch at 10 a.m., it's Big Ben during the day. And when you come back later on at night, as you, as the day progresses, the, the picture progresses in its time of day. That's awesome. Which I yeah. thought was pretty neat. And they have demos of these that we're showing right now on the video uh, right right on their website. And then they have the – there's you can now use a photo, which I'm sure people are going to get all kinds of interesting, intricate concepts of using a photo – as the, as the background to the watch. You have nightstand which, mode. Which that's the one thing I will say is that since it's what AMOLED 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only lighting up the pixels that it needs, mm-hmm. and it's, so it's not using power. That's where I really think it'll be interesting to see how far they can push the battery. Um, that being said... Uh, You've used your watch all day. I've used my watch all day. It got taken off the the charger at 6 a.m. this morning. I get many, many notifications, and I'm at 69%. So, and, and I, I mean, I have plenty of different apps and all kinds of different stuff running. Um, it is pulling a lot of that content. I have a complication screen up. It's constantly pulling weather, my activity, sunset, sunrise, moon phase, time, date, whatever. But I really think they over, they, they over delivered and under the, like under promised and over delivered on the battery. On, on the battery. Yeah. Everybody who really? has an Apple watch yes. basically says like, yeah, the battery's fine. If you use like, if you're charging your phone every night, you're charging your watch every night. Right now. Um, I'd like to apologize. I'd like to you know, pour one out real quick for all the people who made vertical watch stance. <laughs> You're right. Because nightstand mode is horizontal, mm-hmm. much like this microphone. Um, yeah. So you put it, you plug it in and you That's set nice. it on its side That's and cool. the, and the time switches to a horizontal view and you can then, um, see the time. So I can hit my $10,000 watch when I'm trying to wake up in the morning. Ah, 400 calm down um so yeah i I think that this is a they they've they've got uh some really cool things going on with the watch what's funny is is that they went from zero to a hundred real quick um Mm -hmm. i mean the the initial watch came out the first release of the watch was april 24th Mm -hmm. and And, and then they came out this is not coming till fall Right, this, this is not coming to a fall, but right. they just they came out with an update like last week. Yeah, that adds yeah. in a whole bunch of fixes for performance and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right, right. They're um, but they have to. They really have to. It's a new. It's a new thing. Is, everybody's watching it. it it's the, it, it, regardless. Doing. It's the one everybody's talking about. And how many people? How many people actually had the watch? So I got my watch after the update came out. People are still I, I ordered. I ordered three hours after they opened the doors for for purchase. And I didn't get it till the end of May. What was it? The May 29th. And my watch shipped with the new OS update on it. So I didn't have to update. Right. I took it out of the box. So I'm interested to know how many devices actually shipped by the time that update came yeah, out. And that weren't already updated. Apple's already burying the, uh, the data in. Um, they're burying the data. They're not announcing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not, not announcing sales unit sales yet. And, and we haven't even launched in other countries yet. Nope. So no, and uh, mid, mid-June, mid so coming soon, you'll be able to buy it in the store. You still can't buy a Mac, most of the MacBooks in the store. Right. Which is ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was the watch. And then... Uh, music. App, uh, Apple Music. Now... Yeah, okay, this is where... Okay, now, now my, let's... Re- so, I was talking about how we use one more thing for this. And then prog- progress to tell me how radio is really cool. See, I, I think this was we couldn't get TV on stage. I'm with Joe on this one. They they wanted the TV, but the thing though is that they knew the TV wasn't coming in like mid May. I they knew that, but I don't. Or did they not? I don't. That whole thing seemed unplanned. Like, I, was there something else that was supposed no, that's to just be how, in there? That's just how Drake was, rolls. No, no Drizzy it, Drake. It, it, listen. Drizzy Drake, uh, so Drake, the rapper, comes out on stage and explains how awesome, like, being able to get his music out and not really having to go through a label, which is true. All of his, like, initial stuff, he was putting out all on his own, completely independent, and he was able to do it because of iTunes. And um, you can do that, but there's no way for people to discover what you're doing unless, you know, you're out there and you have, you know, some sort of blog following. Um, so a lot of the stuff that they're doing with beats music is they have, it was almost like Apple was thumbing their nose at everything that Google does. So all of the on device stuff, instead of doing all of the cloud, you know, stuff for Siri and the proactive assistant, and then saying that we don't do any machine learning with our music. We have curators who figure out all the music. That guy really hated algorithms. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I was just like, what is your thing? Jimmy Iovine. Yeah, Jimmy. So, I- yeah. Jimmy Iovine, by the way, is uh, 
one of the founders of Beats. I know. Yeah. And former executive at Interscope. Mm-hmm. And is the reason so, Aftermath got a record label, which is the whole reason why Eminem got signed and 50 Cent got signed. So, yeah, Jimmy Iovine is is not an uh, an insignificant player in the music no, industry. No, no, no. And, 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 and with this, yes, Dr. Dre and Trent Reznor do have some sort of creative say and influence on this process as well. Right. So they have, which is ridiculous to say. Like the lead singer in Nine Inch Nails and a dude who is in NWA are, <laughs> are like they have creative control over something. At I, Apple. I tweeted it's during I tweeted during the keynote like hey hey I messaged the fifteen year old me uh, this happened Trent Reznor is a uh, uh, part of uh, uh, Apple's uh, presentation here in twenty fifteen get ready for that um, yeah get get yeah he's he's singing about how he hates the machine now he is the machine oh completely completely um, except so, for algorithms. Except for, Except for algorithms. algorithms. So they, they, they don't want algorithms. They want human create, human curated stuff, which is great, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. That's something that turned me on a Spotify, though, because you can grab people's Spotify created playlists. playlists. Yeah. So that's where I, I mean, that was one of the things that turned me on to the concept of Spotify. Now, I don't pay for any service today. I pay for two different ones. <laughs> and uh i would like to not do that anymore uh the so here's the there's connect so the, this is kind of what here's the the tricky part they announced it so very very poorly mm-hmm. because had they said listen you have this very large itunes collection on your laptop and itunes match helped you get that on all of your devices mm-hmm Hey, now you have access to everything in the iTunes store and these super cool radio stations. How hard is that announcement to make? Not that hard, which is what the Apple Music is. That's why I'm now in. When I first watched the announcement, I was like, oh, that's stupid. I will continue using Google Music. Good day to you, Apple. Yeah. And then they said, "Uh, hey, then they posted like the Apple Music page and you're reading through it. You're like, wait, so I get to keep all my stuff and all the stuff that's in iTunes match and I get access to everything that's in iTunes, except that's, for there's a sub, there's a small subset of bands that you don't get. The Beatles are one of them. Oh, cool. Next, <laughs> not worried about that. ACDC is another one because ACDC is super hateful about music online. Uh, they're st- I guess they're still scared of the internet in New Zealand or wherever ACDC is from. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so sorry ACDC. There are people out here trying to get money. Uh, and you old dudes are just living off that 70s money when you couldn't get music everywhere. Well, they got that Iron Man money from a couple years ago. Yeah, they did. They got that that sweet, sweet Iron Man money. Yeah, yeah. Shout All that Walmart Star. re-release with uh, Iron Man on the cover. There you go. Yeah. So they have uh, they, they, they have their own money. Um, but there's the, the music thing, three-month free trial. So if you're kind of interested in figuring out what the heck this is all about, you can do it for three months. Um. What nine ninety nine for one person and fourteen ninety nine for a family for a family of six. Yep. Which uh, I currently pay ten for Spotify and eight for Google Music. So this is saving me money. I will probably switch. Mm -hmm. Um, Because hey, fifty bucks a year is not something to sneeze at. Mm -hmm. And then um, yeah, so that was Apple Music. They they could have shortened it by a solid ten minutes and had it not been so terrible. Um, Which was really sad. And if you watched. (laughs) the Twitter feeds of developers who were in the audience, they were like, can we, can we go get sandwiches now? Would they be, <laughs> would we get shot on site if we stood up right now? Cause I would like to not be here and there are sandwiches downstairs. Yeah. Um, yeah. I saw, I saw like Gabe Sapolsky. Was like, I'd like to go eat now. Uh, <laughs> you mean Josh Topolsky? What'd I say? Gabe Sapolsky. Yes. Yeah. But that's somebody, somebody else. Yeah. That's somebody else with very Both similar Gabe. names. Uh, so very yeah, different people. So a couple other tidbits, uh, one that they didn't announce during the keynote, uh, they are do- oh no, they did announce this during the keynote. They're doing public betas of OS 10 and iOS. Bum, in bum, I think that's a mistake. I think that's I, a genius I think that's move. Gonna, I think it's going to ruin a lot of people's lives. They're like, oh, I can get the new thing. Oh no! Hey, There's, hey, everybody! But remember, but they but did they did a public beta of OS 10 last year, and everything I think that was worked fine. great. That worked great. great. I'm worried. I'm more worried about the phone side. That's why they're not releasing it until July. July. And it'll yeah, be it'll be off. And it's not going to be on the regular schedule. I, I yeah. might. I was thinking about putting it on the iPad, but the iPad's too old. I'm not going to get any features, anyways. So you no, might. you're going to get. You're going to get the new keyboard. You're going to get. Ooh. You'll get. Yeah. I so, mean, you'll get a lot. You'll get the new notes. Mm-hmm. The only thing you're not going to get is the split screen. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, oh, and only the iPad Air two gets this. 
but the uh, pulling a video and sticking it in the corner like you can in YouTube picture already. And picture. Yeah, that picture works on the uh, bunch of different devices. Nah, I thought that was the one that was exclusive to the iPad 2. No, that's Split View. Split View is iPad 2. I need to look at my, my notes again. Um, but, the, but anyway. You mean the notes that I put together and uh, I, I carefully vetted everything and made sure to look up everything and make sure everything was it was perfect for you, Sork? Those ones? Oh, those ones. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the multitasking is, um, oh, so th- th- now I'm just running through tidbits. So the split view is the only one that works in the iPad Air 2. The slide, slide over, over works on a bunch of different ones, and so does the picture in picture. Oh. They fixed the shift key, which people were mad about in iOS 8, apparently. And so th- There's going to be an easy text selection where it makes the whole keyboard area like a mouse pad. Yeah, but that's mm-hmm. only on the iPad. That will not be on the iPhone. Right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, how about this one? So the, the shift key, they fixed it in the simplest way possible. They jacked the keyboard from Android. So when it's when your keys when your letters are lowercase, the keys are lowercase. When you're a capital letter, they go capital. On iOS 8, it is always capital all the time. Uh, and uh, San Francisco is now the system font on every device that Apple makes iOS 9, OS 10, the watch, they all use San Francisco, which was their way of making sure that nobody copies their OS. Because HTC was using Helvetica Noia for a bunch of stuff for in the, the Sense Android skin. Mm. And because Helvetica Noia is a publicly available font that you can license, and you do have to pay money for that, yeah. uh, they, they decided we're just going to use our own font so you can't copy what we're doing, so you can't copy the exact look. Yeah. They designed their own font like they used to with uh, Chicago, which was their original font. Lucida Grand was not theirs. They licensed that too. But it never looked right on any other machine because Apple did some weird font some weird font stuff to it. They always had a weird... They rendered their stuff differently. Oh, yeah. I remember they yeah, had yeah. to do a lot of stuff when they did the curved uh, boxes and everything. Like that, like that was like a that was a, a a mathematical nightmare for the programmers back then to do that yeah. on a regular basis. So they have a uh, so they had Chicago with uh, everything up to uh, OS ten. Then they switched to Lucida Grand or mm-hmm. Lucida Grande for OS ten, and uh, then they with Yosemite they went to Helvetica Noia, and now they're on uh, the uh, to San Francisco, which is now their system font across everything. They uh, what else what was what was the other things. Oh, uh, smaller updates. So iOS 9 will be mm-hmm. 1.3 gigs to download. iOS 8 was 4.5 gigs. So you need less space to run iOS 9. That will be nice because, I mean, how many, uh, how many people have problems with that before? My what? wife. She did. Yeah, she yeah, had to yeah. delete a bunch of photos to update. So mm-hmm. one thing I found interesting was if you want to use PIN password with a with, touch ID with phone, touch ID phone or, and the recommendation for PIN passcode is now six characters. No, it's not a, pin, it's not a recommendation. It's a requirement. You can. With you, touch ID phones, you have with to go touch to, ID. With touch ID, you have to go to six, six. characters instead of four. And uh, remember how I said earlier in the show, let's bring this back around and wrap it up. Remember how I said earlier in the show, this is not the last piece of Android news. Um, the fine folks at Apple would like you to not use Android. So <laughs> they made an Android app called Move to iOS. Mm-hmm. And what it does is it links your and your old Android phone and your new iPhone and moves over basically everything contacts message history your wallpaper camera photos and videos lower that barrier man lower that barrier moves everything right over Um, and the cool part was anything that's a free app gets downloaded and anything that's a paid app goes into your ios or or goes into the app store wish list which i thought was kind of kind of cool i'm interested to see what happens when there's a uh when you're using something like i don't know podcatcher which is an i or which is an Android podcast app. That's not a plug for Podcatcher. That app is not great, but that was the only one I could think of that's not cross-platform. Um, what happens when you have Podcatcher and then they come over and say, "Hey, we're just going to recommend you use something else." And I want to know how well they're testing this across Android devices. From I would also love to be the person who approved the expense of you going out and buying a bunch of unlocked Android devices. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know that they don't just have like that. That you don't just call the IT department and go, "Hey, I need a Galaxy S 6 Like, you don't have that. No. Well, no. I think I think a lot of comp- Well, I'm sure Apple's using uh, something like there's Perfecto or de- Device Anywhere. There's 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 services. platforms and services out there where you get a library of. Of every Android device around. How much? How much does this cost, and how much can I get access to it? <laughs> I would like them to come to my house. <laughs> you like them to come to your house? How can they ship those things? No, they don't ship them. They're, it's remote, oh. and you can even script against them. Oh, 
So it's, it, it's, fun, it's meant for, it's meant for companies like Facebook to actually regression test their app and yeah, you know, a bunch yeah, of stuff yeah. like that. But that being said, when you look at like the, the layers that Samsung puts on top of their device, the differential stuff that uh, HTC puts on theirs, are they hitting the major ones or is it really going to work across every, well in here, it's probably not going to well, work I in China. Look in, oh, you no, know, but because there's no Google play store. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think about that. I bet they throw it in like whatever the why those sto- is. Yeah. Why I have no idea. Right. I'm just, if you're from China and you're listening to this show, I'm really sorry. I have no idea what the, what the various, uh, uh, Android app stores are in China. I apologize for that. I'll do some research. I'll get back to you next WWDC. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, uh, also, uh, this was uh, mentioned. Uh, Beats is actually going to be on Android. Yes. Yeah, Apple so Music not, uh, will be uh, on Android. Apple Music will... Uh, wait, so... I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, but but uh, that that's kind of a In different... That's kind of... Because that's one of the reasons why I don't hop into a lot of iTunes stuff because it's not cross-compatible. Right. That's one of the big reasons why I really like Google Music because I can use it on er- right. basically everything. Right. Now, now um, the thing, now the big barrier for me was I kind of wanted to do iTunes Match for a bit because I'm like, well, then I can Siri everything and be able to access it that way. But then I'm like, well, I already have everything in Google Music. It, they, they lifted their limit and I got the rest of my songs up there without paying anything. And right. I've just been using that for the longest time. Google but you're a, Pri- you're a Prime member and you can throw it in Prime. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, you can't? Uh, not, not that many. Uh, no, I don't no think. Plus, it's Amazon. Yeah, uh, their 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 service is not that great. No, um, it, it's okay to like Google just Music. Pop in there. Google has kept up on their iOS apps. Amazon Amazon just kind of hates I- iOS. Yeah, a little bit. Um. So yeah, there was. So, uh, I think that's. I think that's about it. Uh. Well, we're we out of time. It. It's time to talk video games, but we'll have nothing to do with Apple. Uh, for the most part, except for most of the games I play are on my iPhone, unfortunately. Uh. But anyways. Um. So WWDC, let us know your thoughts and your Apple-y things. And uh, uh, so we apologize, all of you Android and Microsoft people, Kraus, Chachi, etc. out there. Um, but uh, wheels, there you go. Uh, but uh, generally, uh, we'll have some more thoughts of this in the coming weeks, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, but yeah, uh, on that note, uh, well, first, what's, what's your big, real quick, and you kind of had awesome things, but what was your biggest takeaway? What was your most awesome thing of uh, uh wwdc uh, uh aj uh i think the the awesome thing for me was the uh the ipad stuff mm-hmm. the, this is the first time in a long time where i'm actively considering buying an ipad i the last ipad i owned was an ipad 3 mm-hmm. uh and i barely used that one this the all of the picture in picture stuff the split view the has a lot over, of capability and the the trackpad stuff i mean it it honestly makes a lot more sense than it used to will you go pro i will wait I'm 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 probably going to wait till October and see what that brings, uh, and if they come out with something and it's like, hey, here's the iPad. I, I feel like th- with all the updates coming in iOS nine, they've got to be coming with something. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think they're decent. I think they're going to come with. with they've got to come with it, and they've got to come with an iPad that's worth it. Because if they just come out like they like the iPad Air two got thinner and they put Touch ID, the iPad Mini three is literally the iPad two. Or the iPad Mini Two with Touch ID. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, no Malibu Stacy yeah. with a new hat. <laughs> like <laughs> there's nothing, nothing really changed there. But if they come out with a uh, an honest to goodness iPad update that has like a legitimate benefit, mm-hmm. that's able to take advantage of all the things like picture in picture and slot and side view or slide over and side by side view, mm-hmm. split view, split view. If they're able to take advantage of all of that and build a pro version. You're really, you're really talking now. I think they've got a real good chill. Thing there. Real quick, I'm, I'm going news. News. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of the from what I'm seeing of the news app. I haven't got to play with it yet. Um, hopefully, think, hopefully by the time I get on the beta, Sorgatron yes. media will be on there. And I think my awesome thing uh, because of this will be uh, <laughs> me being able to access news as a publisher. So we'll see what happens there. See if that helps uh, get the shows out there a bit more. And I think most of my stuff is video. We don't have articles per se, but maybe we should. Our friends at Bold Pittsburgh and stuff should go uh, put their stuff up. Yeah, Jagoff, you should go submit too. Uh, if somebody's on, somebody's on the Twitters, go hit them up about that right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, certainly. So uh, let us know what you think and check out everything awesomecast.net. Uh, this and the awesome chats that we've done. We got a few planned here.
content here coming up. I know we took a week off and might have one a little later in this week with a local company doing some really cool stuff for small businesses. And uh, let's see, uh, podcamppittsburgh.com, uh, our talk with uh, Crystal O'Connor of Libsyn is up over there uh, from the you know, with the great folks over there at the hardware store. And, uh, geez, what else? Uh, check us out on social media, uh, all the links for that. And subscribing to this over on awesomecast.net. Links for the Patreon. If you dig this, if you want to contribute to the show and help it get bigger, uh, you can go do that there as well. We have some fantastic prizes for you guys and uh, and so much more. And please share, please comment on iTunes, whether you, whether you listen to us on there or not. It helps the show across the board get out there to more people and share the show if you really like it. Any clips, anything else you want, you want to. So with that, thank you, AJ at AJ Kuftik on the That's Twitter, me. digitalpotholes.com. <laughs> Virtual potholes. Virtual potholes. Com. Dot com. I did it. He did it. Mm-hmm. At Chilla. John That's Chilla. That's, That's me. Chilla on the, on the Twitters. There you go. And I'm at Sorgatron, SorgatronMedia.com, Sorgatron.com. Sign up to the Sorgatron Media Creatives Newsletter. We are doing some fun stuff there. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our awesome audience. Uh, you have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Let's start the show. Let's talk about the... We start Let's, our feelings. Why are we here? Let's talk to this. <laughs> Welcome to Feelings Cast. Welcome this. to Feelings Cast. That's that's what I do with LB on the weekends, actually. Um, download that power hour. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg. Wait, how do I start this show? <laughs> Let's this just is, keep the no no no, no keep going. It's Tuesday keep going. night. It's Tuesday night. We're in the studio. Welcome to Awesome Cast. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna introduce the show now. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday night. You got your iPhone out there, all stroking it. That's no, nope, I'm not doing nope, that either. I'm not nope, doing that either. No, no, we, no. It's in the show notes. You're yeah, it's in the show <laughs> notes. It's not in the show notes. Welcome to Awesome Cast, the show where we get geeky, talk tech, social I'm media. So more. off. I feel like I haven't done. Like, How long have you been? You've done 251 of these. I feel like you got it by now. Nope. <laughs> Nope. Can we do an? Can we do have this as just after show stuff? Because this is uh, this is gold. <laughs> most likely, yes. Most likely, this will be after the show stuff. So the real one's going to happen in three, two.